The alligator situation shedding light on what rescue groups call a major issue in Chicago, illegal animal dumping. That's right, and CBS News Tara Molina digging into the issue and how it affects us all. Tara, the city gets thousands of calls a year? Brad, all of those calls to animal care and control and animal rescue groups, groups that tell us this problem is getting worse, it's frustrating, and people are ditching everything from cats to full-grown pigs. <laughs> this five-foot alligator captured the nation, but he wasn't the first to temporarily call Humboldt Park home. Humboldt Park, we see it quite often. Call it ditched, dumped, or abandoned. Heather Weedman says it's happening with pets of all kinds all over the city. We have what I like to believe is an epidemic of people dumping animals. She's been rescuing them for almost 20 years. It's when they have no need for them anymore, they just dump them out on the streets. A dog left in the park with a bowl of food and a sign pleading for a home. Just a couple weeks ago, this full-grown pig, cats, chickens, guinea pigs, rabbits, and roosters. One of the biggest dumps is roosters. It's a problem, a crime, and it's not solved for free. It is a huge cost for all of us. If you leave them outside, and it can be difficult to capture them, that it does, it involves a lot more resources. The city's animal care and control team does everything they can round the clock to find, capture, treat, and rehome abandoned animals. But tell us, with resources available all over the city, it should never come to that guinea pig or gator. It's easy, but what we do want is for people to be responsible. And if you really can't take care of the animal, that is why Chicago Animal Care and Control exists. So bring them here. Now, Chicago police tell us that people who abandon and dump animals can face criminal charges. But tonight, we're still waiting to learn how many people have actually faced those charges in the past year. We're also waiting to learn exactly how much this problem costs the city. So, of course, we'll follow up. Reporting outside animal control and care this evening, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.